guys, I didn't see you. I thought it was shower time. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new series. Now this series is called House Decorations. Why? Well, I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step tutorials on how to design the inside of your house. Now this is the first episode and I'm designing a bathroom. This can be used in any household because a lot of people have asked me to do this. They know how to design an outside of a house or to build a house, but when it comes to inside and decorating, it they have absolutely no idea now this should be around an 8 to 15 episode series so hopefully you fully enjoy it and hopefully you can design and customize your house to your liking now over here this is a double sink you can design it however you like you can fit it into any room now I have just used stone slabs on the floor and I've used lapis lazuli block and an iron block for the walls very very cool for a bathroom like I said it's fully up to you how you design it now over here we have a bathtub, not the best, and I'm sure you guys have your own way of decorating your house. I just thought I would share with you all because a lot of people did ask me. This is the toilet in case you needed to go to party like this. Like, oh, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. Okay, so yeah, I get carried away and you already see me in the shower. Now this room is a little bit big than I would usually design, but for the purpose of this video, I need a lot of space because I'm gonna be showing you how to, to, how to build each one step by step. Now I'm gonna start off with the shower. This is probably the most difficult out of all of them. And in fact, none of them are difficult. So what are we gonna need? Well, over here, you can design it in a different way. Not only have I not placed it in full great detail, but say if you wanted to have a stone slab, which I will get right now, you you can decorate this even more further around here to make it like a little walkway or the dry zone should I call it or the wet zone in fact so this could be your shower you get out you're kind of wet and you're in the the wet zone and then you go into the dry zone it's fully up to you how you design it so what do we need well I'm gonna grab the stuff we need we're gonna need a glass plane we're gonna need a bucket of water which I need to grab right now in fact we do need stone slabs we need normal stone as you can oh that's fish stone I don't need that we need normal stone silly echo I'm gonna have to re-grab them real quick um where is it gone we need this we need a bucket of water where have you gone come here bucket of water and what else are we missing oh yeah we're missing the stone slab there we go now to start off with you'll notice here that we've got one two three one two um you just build them however you like but for the purpose of this video you need to take out one of these like this one two three and then one, two, like this. And then you replace this with the stone. Uh, and this is how it will, it will stop the water from going away. Also, take out this one. But I do recommend placing that like that. You can design there if you wanted to and didn't want to see the, the dirt showing. Now, as for the, the size of the glass, this is like blocking the water from spraying all over your bathroom and making it look very, very terrible. Uh, you just fill it up. To, you leave this one blank here. This is the block where you get out of the shower. So you fill this one to about here. There we go. It can be in any any direction. It is totally up to you. It really doesn't take long at all to design this. It's very, very basic. Now, you're going to need... You will probably have a roof in your house, which is like this. You can see the way the water is. So, how will it work? Well, you simply just cover your whole shower, however you like. But keep this block here empty because you're going to use this to fill the water. And you'll keep it in one direction. This means that it won't go all over the place and it will just flow straight down. So, as you can see, all you do is design it like this. And you'll notice that this is the shower. So, all I have to do then is go above my house place this here and you'll notice it's done perfect so that is the shower very very easy to do in fact it doesn't take long at all it's exactly the same as this one and you can cover it however you like you can make it bigger extend it it's all all the way up to you take your time and like I said this can be the wet zone in case you wanted to make it even more decorative so just place these over here no problem at all so I'm gonna move on to the toilet this is the toilet you can use this to build it up all right, always leave the seat down, as my girlfriend would say. Leave it down, leave it down, leave it down. Um, so this one, very, very basic again. Uh, you need a cauldron, which you can find them very, very easy. And they are building, uh, you can build these very, very easy. You need the trap door. Let me just find the trap door. Uh, a piece of wall. It can be any wall. If you want to match the bathroom, you can use the likes of uh, a blue wall. But I'm going to be using white. We need a pressure plate, which is a stone one. And we need a button. It can be any button. It's fully up to you. Now here, oh, we also need stairs. We need one stone stairs. Here we go. Now you take out this one like this. And you need to stand here and do this. As you can see, it's facing the other way. Place the white wall there. Place the button there. Place the pressure plate on top. The cauldron, you have to take that one out as well. Oh, we need a bucket of water as well. So this will go. Let me just get a bucket of water real quick. As you can see, bucket of water. There we go. Fill that up. And then we need a trap door here. Place the trap door. 
place the trap door there, and as you can see, you have your toilet. So it's pretty awesome, very, very basic. You shouldn't have any problems when designing a toilet. But again, it just makes your house look a little bit better. And um, the double sink, again, this is the double sink. You still need very, very similar stuff to the toilet. Apart from you don't need um, a trap door or a button, you're using levers, but you need to change these two back blocks to um, stone slabs. So I'm gonna do that first. You do this here. Oops, wrong place, place that there like that. Uh, take out these because you're gonna have to place a cauldron there. Let me just grab a cauldron real quick. Come on, cauldron, like this. Place that there like that. Uh, I, I should really show you guys how many things we need. I will explain to you at the end what you need anyway. You should have no problems if you're following this tutorial. Uh, we need a bucket of water as well. So the bucket of water will be to fill the cauldron up, aka your tiny little sink. So this can be hot water, this can be cold. You can even place a little bu a sign above saying S, um, sorry, <laughs> sorry, uh, C and W or C and H. It's up to you. It's fully up to you how you design it. Now the bath. This is kind of more complicated than the shower in my opinion because you have to take out some blocks down there. Now this is just a tap. You can have two if you wanted for hot and cold. It's truly, truly up to you. Now this requires a few things uh, and I'm going to build it in this corner as well. You can have it as big or as small as you like. So we do need, we need stone um, brick stairs. We need a bucket of water, of course. We need levers or levers, however you want to pronounce it. And we need, oh God. Also guys, I want to show you one thing on this one. You can also do this as well, like this. Oops, I don't want to do that. There we go, done. To, just to decorate it even more, it is just fully down to you how you decorate. You can add more things. It's truly, truly up to you. Um, it doesn't look the greatest because you can put, put the taps above there. So if I was to take these out, let me just do this. There we go. Can't place that on there, God damn it. I wish you could do that, but you can't. So it's fully up to you how you design it. So how am I going to make this? Well, you need a, you need a stone brick stairs, water, lever, and you need to get the... What else was it? Oh, yeah, we need a stone slab for the bottom. Uh, so it doesn't... Because you have to take out one stone slab at the floor. So like this, I'm going to show you how it works. So how many was it? So it was one, two, three, corner, one, two, three. So again, I'll just pull that out for you. One two, three, corner, one, two, three. So this is gonna be where you place your stairs. Now, I would recommend facing it this way because you can walk in your bath. Very, very simple, just up and then in. So up and then in. Uh, as for this, you wanna take this out, but you're, oh God, I shouldn't have done that. Breaking everything. This needs to go here, like this. All right, don't need a lapis lazuli, that's just a spare, God damn it. I'm gonna have to keep you on my hand. So you wanna take out the flooring. If you are using stone slab like me, you wanna go down to the depth of one. Now I did change the other bath slightly. You can do it like this. I would recommend taking this out just for more decorative effect. It looks a lot better than uh, having a grass block there. So just fill it all away. It's all up to you how you design it again. But these are just simple tutorials, very, very basic. They don't take long to do at all. And I do enjoy making ones like this because they're very easy to understand. And then fill it in with one like this, okay. And at the moment, you'll notice you can't get out the bath. This is where water comes into it. Now I'm using in creative. So all you do is simply fill your bath up to the desired location, however high you want to. And then easy, you can get out very, very simple. So that's very, very basic. And the only reason why I did place stone slabs on the side, that is to prevent the likes of, um, it just be, it looks more attractive in my opinion. So it's up to you, I design it again. Uh, and then place this here like this, hot tap cold tap and then the water goes in so hopefully you have enjoyed the very very basic again this was the shower you can have it however you want you can change the colors of the bathroom theme we have the toilet here in case you uh, didn't remember you can also push the buttons to place it back down as a girl would say there you go and we have the sinks and the bath so i'm echo egg soldier hopefully i'll catch you next time i have more 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 tutorials on decorations coming very very soon if you can hit that like button it's highly appreciated and i'll catch you next time peace out and have a lovely day